Alright guys, I got some bad news here. As you remember the big waru, I had to put them down a while ago. And the other big waru in here, the same thing. I don't know what the heck's going on. I've been treating them with uh, metronidazole for the hole in the head that I know the big one had. And uh, I've been looking online. They say symptoms before they even get the hole in the head. They start shaking and uh, they kind of getting like an epileptic seizure or all the fins at once are like spazzing out. And they're like more than shaking like from the head like wiggling side to side as if they're trying to push something down and then flipping upside down and like scraping everything and I just put that other one down and it's a shame I had them both for five years and uh I don't know what's going on but I'll tell you the truth ever since the hydrants were drained remember I told you guys the water was dark brown you couldn't see in the tanks all my fish, not just this tank, my two little Oscars, the same thing. They stopped eating, I was treating them with Metro and they started to eat. And if you look at this one here, I don't know if you'll see it, you can see his lateral line. It might be getting a little better, but it has all white specks like on it, eroding. So you would think that they have hole in the head that's the same thing the lateral line of disease so I've been treating them they started eating this guy when I did the water change because I did them two tanks and it was so bad I'm like I'm not doing it again I went out and bought a good filter and filtered the water and so far this guy's doing okay he's the only fish in our whole house that doesn't have that disease whatever it is my brother's tank, same thing. All of a sudden, after that uh, bad, remember I told you he filled his tank up and it was so brown you couldn't see his fish. Now his fish has hole in the head and it just seems to be getting worse. It's like big craters. So every fish in my fish room, including his, and my fish, there's no way that I could contaminate his tank because I don't go by it. So... It's the only thing I could think it's from them draining the hydrants and whatever they stirred up in there, who knows what it was, had something to do with what these fish have. Now, I haven't seen, and actually wait, the big uh, uh, blue Akara, same thing, I had to put him down like three or four days ago. The two little ones, I don't notice anything. But I'm treating them. Hopefully they don't get what they got. I don't notice it on the little one back there. The uh, waru. I did notice this waru twitching all around. I don't know why it's not focusing. He was twitching all around. But actually so were these guys like three or four days ago when they stopped doing it. So I don't know what's going on. I'll continue treating them. And actually, I'm actually putting it in their food, the medication, per the instructions. I stopped treating the water because it didn't do anything. Because, let me go back to this tank. These guys here, I was treating the whole tank and it wasn't doing anything either. Then I started feeding them the medicated food that I uh, mixed per the instructions. And they started like getting more active and moving around so it looked like it's working or it worked on these. They look much better. So I said the heck with it and I'm trying to do this tank here. And they're all eating it but except for the one that I just put down the big waru because he hasn't eaten in a week. He was too far gone. This sucks. I had them for so long, like over five years, and all of a sudden, like I said, I could see if one tank had it, or if I made it go to other tanks, but I clean my stuff in hot water when I'm done. If it's parasites, there's no way they're going to live. And the other strange thing is, look at this. The day of the water change... 
I was gonna do the uh, black piranhas tank and I said, hey, I'm gonna wait till it clears because it's too late. The other ones I drain the water all the way down and by the time you turn the water on, you notice it start to turn brown. You can't leave it empty. So I learned my lesson basically. I did a water change in one day. And this one I usually do like three or four days later. So I saw the water dirty and I skipped his water change. Guess what? This one doesn't have a problem. There's nothing wrong with them. <sighs> I don't know. I had it, guys. This is this is really bad. I don't know what's gonna happen. Hopefully, I could uh, get these guys to pull through whatever's going on here. But it does seem linked to those dirty uh, water from the hydrants because every tank I did. Every fish, including my brother's tank, we all did water changes and the tank was so brown you couldn't see the fish. So every tank that we did that with, all the fish have it. It's like a joke. Except for this guy here in the piranha. Unreal. Oh, I keep going on. Oh, I'm so depressed. It sucks. But I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, it ain't all nice. Sometimes all those bad stuff happens. I had this happen to me twice since I started keeping fish within the last like 20 years. But the other times it happened was because you bought a fish and it had something you didn't know to quarantine. But this is ridiculous. If this is from the water, it's ridiculous. And I didn't put no new fish in the tank, so it's got to be the water. Anyway, guys, like I said, I just wanted to keep you guys informed and let you know what's going on. It sucks.